What's going on traders? It's Nate here. In this video, we're going to do a trade locker tutorial. There's been a couple of videos that I released in the past, but trade locker continues to improve their platform. And so there's been a couple of updates. So let's get straight into it. So trade locker, really simple. If you go to settings, you can actually uh, change the color of your background. So I like to trade on a white background. I feel like it can see the wicks a little bit better. Um, so go ahead and just go to settings, hit background, and then um, continue uh, to change your colors, right? Um, if you want to change the color of your wicks, uh, you can do that as well. So I like to keep my wicks um, basically black. And then um, if you want to change your, the color of your actually your, your bullish and like bearish candles, you just go to the body and then change all of that and then hit OK. <clears throat> so moving on, um, the, the most frequently used tools right here. Um, if you go over here to the left hand side, you can see all of the tools. If you do star, right, then it's going to come up here under your favorite tools that you use. So really simple. You're going to see a little arrow. You hit uh, star, 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 whatever you want to star. So let's say I want to star the parallel channel. You just hit the favorite and then it's going to pop up right here. Um, so yeah, that is basically all the tools. This is a measuring tool right here so you can measure how many ticks or pips that you are trying to catch and then the uh, infamous uh, measuring tool right so your long position your short position right if i'm shorting here to to this area and then i want to put my stop loss right above here um, you can clearly see that it's gonna basically line up how much uh, ticks or pips that you're gonna catch you're gonna see your risk to reward ratio so this is a 1.287 um, so basically i'm making 2.87 times return on my investment. So if I risk 100 bucks, I'm gonna make $287. Um, how you pull up uh, the time frames? really simple. There's a drop down menu right here and you can clearly see that I saved mine. So uh, what you do to save, same thing, you favorite it. But if you wanna unfavorite it, you can see that my weekly just went away. So I'm gonna put that back up there. And then the same thing with uh, your charts view. So I like to use the line chart just to look at my supply and demand areas. Um, so typically when I'm on the daily time frame, I like to go to line chart so you can favor uh, that as well. And then um, over here on the left hand side, you can see that there are a couple of panels, a few panels. So let's go back to, back to um, candles and then you're going to see that uh, this right here is the markets panel. So basically you can pull up all of the instruments. So let's go ahead and click that. You can also hit M on your keyboard and it's going to do the same thing for you. So I'm going to hit M on my keyboard and it's going to make it disappear. The other thing is the orders panel. So if you hit O on your keyboard, it'll make it disappear. And then if you hit this little triangle right here, right here, um, you can actually expand it to customize your order, right? So um, let's say you want to do a buy. Uh, make sh Okay, guys, this is really important. Make sure to always have this risk clicked on because when you start dragging around your stop loss, it's going to be a fixed amount right here. It won't move around. So let's say you're risking 100 bucks on a buy and you move your stop loss down here and then you have your take profit to right there. Um, it's actually going to stay at $100 and you don't have to worry about basically uh, uh, doing a risk calculator or resizing your position. Um, it's all done for you. So that's one thing that I really like about um, Trade Locker. Okay, so moving on to the next, let's go to the trades panel. So the trades panel is basically your P&Ls, the current trades that you're in. So I'm actually gonna execute a trade just to show you how it shows up. So I'm gonna go ahead and just hit this risk on. Let's put our take profit up here somewhere. And I'm gonna risk a thousand bucks. So I'm risking a thousand bucks to make 19,000 bucks, right? So I have that, that risk uh, put on or uh, checked on. And let's say I put my stop loss down here, right? Or down here. So you can see 
that the risk is still fixed while my stop loss um, is a little bit shorter. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit buy and then you're gonna automatically see it come up right here. So right now I'm in profit $1.60. Um, a cool thing about uh, the, uh, the trades panel is you can actually look at a different view. So if you want more of a, a card sort of view, you can kind of just hit this little button right here and then it'll expand it so you can get all your information all in one place. So um, basically your stop loss, your take profit area, you know, your swaps, your fees, uh, how much exposure you have on this one trade. And then um, if you double click it, right, or hit edit, it's gonna go back into your trade. So I'm gonna show you a couple of features that's really cool, especially with you know, traders that are um, a little bit more advanced and everything. So for instance, let's say you're in this, uh, this trade right here, right? And you want to trail your stop loss. Well, you simply just hit trail and then confirm. So what it's gonna do is now it's gonna trail your, um, basically your, your target based on how many pips you have on that stop loss. So if it was a 20 pip stop loss and you hit uh, trailing stop loss, it's gonna trail 20 pips. <laughs> Um, so I love that and then now there's a new feature called the break even feature so right here you're gonna see that there's a set break even stop loss and then you can include the fees and the swaps as well so if you do get stopped out um, it's gonna incorporate that math for you that way you absolutely don't lose any money so I'm gonna go ahead and hit break even and then it's gonna move my stop loss to the break even so if it does come back down, it's gonna you know stop me out really quick um, because I have only two dollars in profit. So oh, it it just closed. But you get the idea. It's gonna move my my position or my stop loss to break even. That way, you know um, I'm I'm mitigating my risk and I don't lose any money. Um, same thing with short. So if I want to short something, you just go to sell. Um, and then make sure to have that risk set on and then let's go ahead and put my stop loss above price prices right here so I'll show you guys prices right there oops and then I'm gonna go ahead and put my you can click it or you can actually go over here to the right hand side and hit the plus sign and then select TP so right there you can see clearly that that's not a good risk to reward ratio let me put it down there Let's go down to 200 bucks and um, let's go up to 500 actually. 500 bucks and let's put my price down there. I don't know why it messed up. Let's try it one more time. So stop loss up here and my take profit down here. So I'm risking 1200 to make 2500. I can do the same thing and now up my risk and now let's drag this down to around there and then also if you hit T on your keyboard you're gonna see the uh, trades panel come up right here um, pending orders really simple so let's just do a pending really quick you can hit plus sign and then hit pending so a pending is basically exactly what it says you're waiting until price comes down to that specific area to hit, and then you're in a trade. So if I wanna do a buy limit, then I'm gonna put my stop loss um, below the trigger. So the pending order just means it's gonna trigger once price comes down, and then I'm gonna put my take profit up here, right? So when price comes down to this area, let's say you're sleeping and you're like, hey, like this is a great um, area to get into an entry, it's going to trigger that order and then now you're buying and then this is your take profit same thing for uh, a pending in the opposite direction so if price comes down you can also get into a short and then now you put your take profit lower right for a short and then now it triggers and now you wait till price comes down there and it'll automatically exit for you, which is great. Um, you can also do alerts. So if you want to do an alert, you simply just 
drag it to where you want the alert to set off. So in this case, let's go ahead and put the alert at the all-time highs. So if it breaks this area, I'm going to get an alert not only on my computer, but on my Trade Locker app as well on my phone, which is great. Cool. Then you can see the closed positions. So um, I did a few uh, trades for you just to show what it looks like. So these are all the trades I did in the last uh, week or so. Um, and you can see that this was a buy. Just recently did that one. These were all sales on Dow Jones, AKA US 30. Um, and then you can also do the different views as well. So if you wanna go ahead and click onto it, um, you can get more information. If you wanna share this to your social media, you just hit share. And then um, you can actually share this, copy it to your Discord group. Um, you can uh, share the different information. So if you wanna do an ROI percentage versus profit and loss, you can do that. You can do a ticks as well. So, you know, I made 10,770 ticks on this one. And then, um, but I like to just keep it at the numbers, right? So money talks. And then once I copy it, I can um, copy this over to my Discord. When you're doing it from your phone, again, this is what the share button looks like. It's like a little fidget spinner looking thing. Um, you're gonna be able to reshare to your Instagram. So there's gonna be an Instagram option and, uh, and it automatically goes to your stories, which is really awesome, especially if you have a, um, an audience and stuff like that. Um, yeah, and then how you actually move from a different instrument is obviously you hit M on your keyboard and then you just go ahead and click on this specific instrument. If you wanna go by specific categories, you can do that. Make sure that the star is off because that's gonna allow you to see all of your instruments. Um, this is basically your favorite. So I have all, these are all my favorite instruments that I actually trade. Um, and how you save it, I'm gonna show you. So let's say AUD CHF. I'm gonna go ahead and right click it and then add to my favorite. So if I have this selected, you can see Odd Chef um, actually over here at the bottom. So um, another thing that's really cool is if you do have an audience and you want to do trade ideas, you simply just hit this camera button and you can copy the link. So once you click it, it automatically copies and now you just have to paste it into your Discord or Telegram or your Instagram channel or wherever. Um, if you want to do more of a uh, image and you want to select that, you can download the image. And then same thing with uh, open a new tab. If you click that, it's gonna open up basically um, uh, a web version of your trade and your chart. So I think that's pretty cool. Um, another thing is right here, you can see that the market is open right now. So um, it'll eat, if you click on it, you can see how much more time you have until the market closes. And then it gives you hours of operations based uh, by your, your broker. So I use Gates FX. Uh, they're, they're actually the best broker in the, uh, in the industry right now. So if you don't have a broker right now, um, I would use Gates FX um, for your demo accounts or even a, a live account. You get up to a thousand leverage. Uh, <clears throat> so um, over here on the upper left hand corner, you can see a uh, demo. So I'm on a demo account, obviously. And if you open up and deposit money into your broker, um, obviously it's going to say live. So how you actually sign up to get a demo account or a live account, um, you just go to your broker. So I use GatesFX. Um, GatesFX, it literally takes five minutes to get you started. So you hit start. And then basically you can see that I have a live account right here. So I'm gonna show you how to open a live account. So you just go to open live account, you hit trade locker, continue, and then you select the type of leverage you want. So in this case, um, hit the ECN. In my, in my opinion, I think it's the best. And then you can select either 500 leverage or a thousand. Either or is great. Uh, 500 is more than enough, but if you want the max uh, uh, leverage, then hit 1,000. So once you hit that, you continue, and then it's gonna 
basically prompt you to put in all your information. So name, date, uh, you know, birthday, upload a, uh, an ID, and then you're off to the races. And then once it gets approved, it takes about five minutes to get approved. You get an email with your, uh, your password and your live, uh, your, your live credentials. So you go to your email and then basically once you have that information, you go to trade locker and you log in. Yeah, that's all I got. Just wanted to show you some updates. The new update was the break even tool. Um, you can see that, uh, this is very similar to trade, uh, trading view. And, um, if you want to favor all your tools, you just go right here, but yeah, I mean, really simple and, uh, just wanted to share the new tutorial with you. Thanks guys.